everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to continue on just with the last video, um, the extract method. So, all right, just like we did before, and if you're just finding this and you haven't seen any other video here, um, I'll start popping the cards up. Actually, let we'll just do the last video of... Uh, the name list method and then you can work your way backwards if you are new here so all right what we are doing is we are going to just extract one file and the question was or the request was how do you extract open pull down um, can't remember the exact words but really good question because zip files are very very large and how do you not waste memory, not waste um, hard drive space, and things like that. So you use the extract method. So let's just look at it. So we have our zip that zip file object. So let's just look at extract. This is going to be very similar to our extract all. And I'll show that a dot extract. There we are. So let's slide this over just a touch so we can see. So all right, member. So member of the zip file, then path and a password. So path is none, password is set on none, our uh, default. And let's see. Extract a member from the archive to the current working directory using its full name. Okay, so that's why this is important. So, all right, its file information is extracted as accurately as possible. Member, uh, maybe a file name or a zip info object. We'll deal with that later. Uh, you can specify different directory using path. So, all right. Like we did with extract all, you could just give it the member name, and it will pull it into your pull it into your current working directory. But that can be lost. And what happens if you want to keep this all nice and organized, like us? So I will now put up here the um, extract all because we don't want to slow this down. So we're going to keep moving. So, okay, uh, here we go. So we need to create, let's say we want to have a nice folder, directory, sub subdirectory, path, whichever, whichever word. Let's use the Hawaii file. So hi folder, Oop. and now we need to add one thing. We're going to be making a new folder, so we need to use the get the OS module. So, all right, OS dot path dot join. Put join up here, and then I'm also going to put then uh, get current working directory after that goes. So, s dot get current working directory plus. hi and close that out okay so now this is going to be our all right let's check right here for a minute all right so no directory of here's our directory with everything that we extracted all but no Hawaii so let's Get that out of there. Then let's do zip dot archive dot extract. Now, like we learned over here, this is all capital. So we're just giving it the member, the full name. So this is all caps. This is why this looks weird and this is why you want to use name list like lat from last video so okay if I were to just do this right here this file 
would shoot into the current working directory where we are right now where our path is where this lives but that can get messy you may lose it but we're going to be pulling data and working stuff working with it we want it to be nice and neat so we want to use our nice little pretty new folder so our hi folder goes right there and now we're done now let's run this and see if I typed everything right. Boom, pull this up. Hi, hi, and there we go. So that is how you use extract from zip file with a zip file object. Very handy. Now we're gonna start doing some really cool stuff with this really, really soon. So as always guys, thanks for watching. If this is the type of video you like, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. And please keep those comments, questions, or my favorite, any video requests below. Uh, love it. Just, uh, I don't know, very humbled by it. Great comments, great questions. Have had a ton this week. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> just it's uh very humbling so as always guys thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys